Now let's look at how to complete the square when things get harder, and the first coefficient isn't 1. As always, we're going to dive right into this by converting the equation to standard form. This means subtracting 8x from both sides and putting it in the middle to get 4x squared minus 8x plus 3 equals 0. The next thing we're going to do is push the plus 3 over a little bit to the right and just focus on the first two terms. Here our goal is to factor out whatever we have to in order to make the first coefficient equal to 1. In this case, that means pulling out 4, which we'll do for both terms to give us 4 on the outside times x squared minus 2x on the inside of some big parentheses. Now we know the drill for completing the square and work on the numbers inside the big parentheses. This means just taking the middle number, dividing it by 2, and putting a square on it before adding and subtracting it just a little bit over to the right. Warning! Make sure when adding and subtracting, you're still doing it inside the big parentheses, and don't simplify the squaring just yet. If we focus on the first three terms, we can convert this into just two terms, all being squared. To do this, take the first thing that's being squared, and either add or subtract it to the last thing that's being squared. Now package these two together under a smaller parentheses, and make the whole thing squared. Keep in mind we still have the minus one squared chilling outside, but they're all inside the big parentheses. The next step is to simplify the 1 squared as just 1 and get rid of the big parentheses by distributing the 4 on the outside inside to both things. In this case, the 4 will now stick to the front of the small parentheses while also multiplying the minus 1 to get minus 4. With the big bad parentheses all gone, the minus 4 and plus 3 are now free to meet, which simplifies to minus 1. Now we have a nice algebraic expression that's easy to solve. Here we can solve for x by working from the outside in which means first adding 1 to both sides, then dividing by 4, then taking the square root of both sides, but don't forget the plus or minus from rooting. And finally, just add 1 to each side, which gives us two solutions for x, 1 plus 1 half, and 1 minus 1 half, which is just 3 halves and 1 half. And there you have it. That's how to solve harder quadratics when completing the square. Nice!